been packing on the donuts lately? Getting a little, a little hefty there. I saw you eating that whole large pizza the other day. What? What you, you got a problem with pizza? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, when it's, when it's a whole double large, yeah? Oh, you call me double large now. <laughs> I see how it is. Okay, all right. Hey, 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 Blue hey Blue oh, Wait, oh, hold on. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong intro. Hey, Titan Train Studio fans. So this is Matt and Robbie with Titan Train Studio. We have got a very cool uh, contest that we're going to be running. This isn't a normal contest because it's going to take a little bit, a little bit more on your part to get in on it. It's got a lot of cool prizes. Uh, it's called the Gray Skull Fitness Challenge. Um, in recent years, we've both gotten a little, a little larger and in charge than we want to be. So we're going to be uh, running a fitness challenge uh, that's going to involve as much of the wargaming community as we possibly can. Uh, we've got all sorts of big names behind this: Blue Table Painting, Mini Wargaming, the Wargamers Consortium, uh, Brush for Hire. All sorts of people are getting in on this and have are giving away really cool stuff. Okay, so we're going to go over some of the rules uh, for the Gray Skull Fitness Challenge. What goes into it, and what kind of prizes you're going to get. Okay, so the Gray Skull Fitness Challenge is a four-month fitness challenge. You're either going to set a personal goal for weight loss, or you're going to set a personal goal uh, for uh, muscle gain. One of the two, uh, because the end result of you is you want to do a it's a total body transformation, which is why we're theming it off He-Man. Uh, the way you enter is you record a video of yourself uh, with suitable weapon or item. Uh, it can be, you know, uh, a battle axe. It can be a sword. Uh, in my case, I've got a machete uh, that I'm going to be using, which, uh, you know, nice black machete. And you record yourself <laughs> going, you know, by the power of Grayskull above your head. Scream it as loud as you can. You know, put some energy into it. You post that on our forum under the Gray Skull Fitness Challenge, uh, and then you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, after the four months, which you've got till the end of June to enter for that, June of 2014, um, then uh, after four months, at the end of October, we will check everyone's progress because you have to post a results video. In the video, when you post it, you also need to put your personal uh, goals. Are you going to lose 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 pounds. For myself, I'm actually going to cut third, close to 30 pounds off me. I, I'm, I'm a little heftier than I want to be. What, what's your, your personal goal, Robbie? Uh, my personal goal is 20 pounds. 20 pounds. 20 pounds, 30 pounds. He's taller than me, <laughs> so he can get away with 20 pounds. <laughs> so, um, and in the case that you're already in shape, you don't really have any, uh, any fat to cut like us, uh, then you, you say you want to you know, put on 10 pounds of muscle. You, you post this in, or you put this in your video, and you just show what your current weight is. We're actually going to, you know, after we tell you all the rules and regulations, we're going to go ahead and do ours right here in this video uh, in all of our wonderfully overweight glory. <laughs> um, methods uh, are up to you. Uh, I'm personally gotten a very nice uh, weight scale that will uh, will keep track of our ups and downs throughout the challenge. We'll be doing uh, weekly weigh-ins. This is all inspired, by the way, by Mini Wargaming Dave and the guys at MiniWargaming.com. About two years ago they did something similar to this. We're just kind of taking it and going in an even higher direction with it because we really want to get people involved in getting back into shape. Because, you know, let's face it, you know, Wargaming is kind of lazy business. It can be. <laughs> we sit around a lot and eat a lot of bad food when we're doing these things. <laughs> So, um, you're, you would basically post a results video at the end of October, and uh, that would have uh, video proof of your results. Uh, if you, it's weight loss, then how much weight you lost. Uh, methods vary. You know, it, this is really just a uh, this is just you know a honor system. As long as you post the evidence that you're that you actually completed your challenge, then you're going to go into the drawing for the prizes. All right. So as with all health. Uh, challenges and things, always consult a doctor uh, before you start anything. Um, we don't want you to be, I mean, don't just stop eating or do some drastic crazy thing. Um, really think about it and look at your goals, look how you can change your lifestyle uh, to be more healthy. That's kind of the end goal, um, is to improve yourselves, to improve your body, the way you look, the way you feel, um, and live a more healthy lifestyle. So um, consult a doctor, uh, do something that's healthy, um, make good choices, uh, and don't do anything that's over the top or over crazy or things that could be dangerous for your health in the end. 
you're not liable if, if you decide <laughs> to go on like, you know, a you know, a water diet or something crazy and just completely like end up in the hospital. You know, <laughs> no craziness please. Let's keep let's keep this realistic and let's keep it healthy and we really just don't want anyone to hurt themselves uh, with this, you know. Now keep in mind, to actually get entered into the drawing for these prizes, you do have to succeed at your personal challenge. So realistic challenges are big. One caveat I would like to point out. If you put a challenge of one to five pounds weight loss, or you want to gain a pound of muscle, uh, you're not going to count it for this. We, this, is a, this has got to be something that, that really pushes you. you got four months to push yourself as hard as you can. I mean, I'm going to cut 30 pounds. That's not easy. I, I had my last, my last wonderful things this week. had my last pizza. <laughs> I had my last Save brownie. That. Oh, my last brownie. I'm... I'm gonna miss those that tasty wonderfulness <laughs> but yeah I, I got rid of, got it all out of my system in, uh, in May ate so much wonderful stuff this month because I'm gonna be going on a really strict diet and a lot of exercise for me so let's get to the really fun part the prizes this is the stuff this is gonna be a drawing there's no one is gonna like be better than another person if you lose more weight than someone as long as you succeed at your personal challenge you go under this drawing so, number one, we are going to give away a full terrain set that's valued at $1,500. It can be any level you want. Uh, epic level means it'll be really cool and detailed, but if you want to go basic level, that's a lot of work for a basic level set. And you can mix and match there to get the best value you want out of that $1,500. One person is going to win that out of, this, out of this challenge. That's a huge, huge <laughs> prize. Because, awesome. I mean, you look at that right there, that's the Rivendell set that I, that I posted a video about just like a day or so ago. And that thing is epic. That is, that is well worth what you would be getting for the $1,500 prize. Then the second prize is going to be Castle Grayskull. We're not tagging a value on that. Because <laughs> we're just going to build, creative from a creative standpoint, this is just going to be pure creative flow. We're going to build it until we think it's done. And then one person's going to get that. It is going to be playable for war games. Uh, it's going to... I've got some ideas and you'll see me posting uh, design schematics for it over the next couple weeks and then starting to build up the piece over the next couple months by the end of the, the challenge. Uh, another prize we have is um, from Arcane Factories. Justin will be putting up two um, promo miniatures. Um, and then Austin from Brush for Hire will be painting those. So those are awesome miniatures and they'll be well painted. Which by the way, this video, uh, Arcane Factory's Kickstarter should still be, have like a day or so left when this video goes up. So go check it out, like right now, <laughs> quickly. It's cool stuff. I'm getting the, the Angel of Death kit, like the Death nice. Duo. It's really, really cool. I like all sorts of nastiness everywhere. <laughs> and like, it's like that, that uh, what is it called? Princess Mononoke, I think? Yeah. Is, uh, inspiration from all sorts of really cool anime on that, that nice. one figure. Also, uh, for those of you who are followers of Bell of Lost Souls, um, you've recently seen Titan Painting Services over in Australia. Uh, I've become very, uh, very close with Aaron, the guy who does all the work there, uh, and uh, he has probably put up one of the biggest prizes for this challenge. He's going to paint up a Forge World Horus the War Master for one lucky winner. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Holy crap! <laughs> That's going to be amazing. I, yeah. I'm kind of wishing that I could win that, <laughs> but I know I can't because we're giving it to you guys. So yeah, when, one Horus the War Master from Forge World, he's going he's gonna to get it and paint it up and send it out to one lucky winner for this. Alright, and uh, Julian from Tabletop Towns will, will be putting up a... Uh, castle, a cardstock castle set. I've so. actually got one piece of it right here, unfortunately. I've not gotten the time to put together the rest of them. But these are really cool because these are good for like RPGs and when you're on the go. If you want to like put it in your Warhammer Fantasy kit because you want to have a castle keep to throw on the table at your friend's house, then these are really cool. Uh, he will be uh, giving away one of these sets. Uh, it comes with four of these. I'll put a link below and some pictures as well. Uh, to his website, and I just like these. These are really, really uh, good for portable terrain that you need to keep very compact. 
The next prize up, uh, my friend Dexter over in Denver, Colorado, who owns Shark Mounted Lasers, is offering up one of his road tile kits. This is good for any sort of urban war game. 40k, infinity, all sorts of stuff. He makes really cool, uh, really cool kits. And for a guy who's just completing his, just completed like his master's degree, I believe, uh, you know, he busts his butt on these things. So he's gonna put that up. Uh, he's actually gonna ship it to me, and then I'm going to paint it with the airbrush. So you're gonna, so one person's gonna get the fully painted uh, road tile kit. More pictures below for all that. And then we saved what I consider one of the next to the Forge World model, <laughs> yeah. one of the best. For last, because we physically have this prize here. You know, we could say we're gonna give lots of prizes away, but it's always nice to show a little something on camera. So, um, Mr. Blue Table Painting himself, Sean Gately, has given us a two player drop zone commander set to give away to one lucky winner. This is such a cool set. And this set's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to show some of the details of what this is. This has got UCM and uh, Scourge, I believe. It comes with all sorts of buildings, the rules, the templates, everything. This thing retails for like 100 bucks on its own. And yeah, this, this thing is really cool. I, I'm actually probably going to get <laughs> one of these for myself here soon. I know you play Shaltari, yeah, right? I do, yeah. yeah. See? This is this is awesome. It's got everything you need to start the game and to play with your friends. So it's a perfect way to get into the game. Yeah, and someone's gonna get it. <laughs> just uh, just gotta concentrate and you know get into the drawing. All right, Robbie, are you ready for your weigh-in? Yep, I'm ready. First weigh-in. This is a starting weight. All right. All right. Let's uh let's see what this comes out to. Does it turn on first. Yep, it's got to turn on first for a second. All right, so, so starting out, two twenty-three. Two twenty-three, right on the nose. Two twenty-three. All right, let's see what this starting weight for this thing is gonna be. Oh, by the way, this thing is really cool. I'll let it cycle through, but this can save up to four people's uh, weights and track the ups and downs of it. So. Two thirteen point two. It's actually pretty good uh, compared to what I was like a couple months ago. I've already lost a little bit of weight. All right, so next thing we're doing is we're going to measure off uh, Navy style our uh, our body fat. Uh, which the way you do this is you measure from your belly button around without sucking it in. You get that number. It's like 44, 44 and a half. 44, 44 and a half. Okay, and then you measure around your neck at the narrowest point, which would probably be right around, right ab but about where your chin is. Right up here. Yeah, about right there. So that comes to about 16. 16. About 16. All right. All right, so let's see how this is going to look. So I am sitting on... Looks like I'm sitting on about 42 for the belly button. Around the neck. Gotta get it under the beard! <laughs> what's that What's that look like to you, Robbie? Uh -huh. Looks like 17. 17? Alright. 17 and 42. So we're using a calculator that I found online for a body fat estimate according to the U.S. Navy. Uh, you put in your uh, gender, your weight, your height, and then your measurements. So I've got a total body fat percentage of 27%, which is, wow, obese. <laughs> that makes me feel wonderful. But then again, that's what the challenge is for. Uh, it says my fat mass is 58, my lean mass is 155. And here's Robbie's info. So, hey, I got Robbie beat on the body fat a little <laughs> bit, but... We are, we are both categorized as obese, according to the U.S. Navy, though. Well, that's going to change. So we have put our accountability on the line with you guys uh, monitoring our progress throughout the, uh, the four-month period. Uh, we are going to be doing weigh-ins on uh, Wednesdays. We're only going to do the body, mat, the body fat once a month, though, because, you know, that doesn't change drastically from week to week. So we'll just do the, the weekly weigh-ins to see if we're going up or down.
Alright guys, so this is an awesome opportunity to uh, change your lifestyle, change your body, the way you feel and look. Um, so take advantage of it. Uh, set a goal, work towards it, um, and this will be awesome at the end. Yeah, and you get to win wonderful And there's great prizes. Oh. <laughs> that always helps. Drop Zone Commander! <laughs>